Hello adventurers and welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited because I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite places in Arkansas, Crystal Bridges. This is a free attraction but I'll tell you a little bit more about it as I kind of show you around and then I'll show you a few of my favorites. This is a place that is ever-changing so every time you come it's a little different so I'm going to go exploring. Welcome to Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art. Founded by philanthropist and arts patron Alice Walton, Crystal Bridges is a nonprofit charitable organization. The museum opened November 11th 2011 and welcomes everyone with free admission. Crystal Bridges takes its name from a nearby natural spring and the bridge construction incorporated the building which was designed by a world-renowned architect. A series of pavilions nestled around two spring-fed ponds houses galleries, meetings, classroom spaces, and a large glass enclosed gathering hall. Guest amenities include a restaurant and coffee bar as well as various viewing ponds, a museum store, and a library of over 50,000 volumes of art reference material. Crystal Bridges boasts five miles of sculptural and walking trails, which link the museum's 120-acre park to downtown Bentonville. The permanent collection on display spans five centuries of American artwork, from early American to the present, and it is always free to view. However, sometimes there are special events, so make sure you check for times online. Crystal Bridges is committed to telling broad and inclusive stories and by acquiring and showcasing the highest quality of works by artists that are typically underrepresented in art history. The collection at Crystal Bridges continues to grow while the museum also offers temporary exhibits that complement the collection and can reveal art's connection to equality and justice. Programs are offered for all ages, including lectures, performances, classes, and continuing education for K-12 teachers. And more than 50,000 school children visit the museum each year as a part of the Willard and Pat Walker School Visit Program, which offers schools reimbursement for out-of-pocket expenses associated with coming here as a field trip. A downloadable, award-winning app, CB Museum and CB Outdoors, is available free from both Apple and Android shops. This app is available to help explain a bit more of the art, architecture, and nature here at Crystal Bridges. Now, one of my favorite things to do here at Crystal Bridges is just to take in the art. And I know everyone expands upon art differently. So if you see something and it speaks to you, it may not speak to the next person. But that's what's so neat about this place is they literally have every style. So you can find something that resonates with you. Not to mention this this sheer size of the building is so impressive and it looks like they're expanding even more. I've been here several times at this point and no two experiences have ever been the same. The legacy of the Walton family here in Bentonville is very strong and it is very visible. You can see it all over the place but I think this is one of my favorite parts of the Walton family legacy here. It's pretty epic. I'll show you a few more pieces and as we continue going, think to yourself, what do I like? Do I like bright colors? Do I like traditional art? Do I like to hear things? Do I like to be able to visualize things in a more like 3D way? Leave it in the comments below and who knows, maybe I'll find something that resonates with you in here. Now each of the pieces like this one right here, are accompanied by a wall plaque which tells you a bit more about it, making it much more user-friendly. But this is not only available in English, but also Spanish. And so as you're moving through, you can get a better idea of the feel of the art or the time frame. And so if you find something that does resonate with you, you can find this artist again and potentially more of their work that way. Also throughout the gallery, if you tend to get a little bit more overwhelmed, there are signs clearly marking where you're going, which gallery you're going toward, and also maps, so look for those. This piece is wild. This is all little turtle shells. What? 
closer look and you can see it a bit better. This one is called Singularity Turtles. And it is a point where the universe and the laws of physics physically break down. This one is called the Dandelion. And this one used to actually be located in Denver. And it's a pretty neat piece of art that stands at least two stories tall. And you can see not only is it about the art itself, but also the reflections and also the shadows that it creates. It's pretty neat. Now, just to the right, you see there is something called the studio and you can actually come in and make your own art. During a previous trip I had here, they were doing some special events. And in doing so, they had some organized crafts that you could come in and create. And they had little pillows that you could make. And I still have mine to this day that my mom and I designed. So very, very cool. This one has always been one of my favorites because it looks like a brain, but you can also see the alphabet as you go through it, A, B, C, D. Um, very cool, very different. It's a little bit of a thought for sure whenever you look at it, but it is exponentially larger than most of the things we've seen in the other galleries. It's one of the most visible like moments when you walk into the room and this is in the modern art gallery. I was talking a bit earlier about how they are expanding and this is an ever expanding project. So out this area, you can see the construction and it's really neat because this place is already so organic looking amongst all of the vegetation. So this is gonna continue, but right now we're in the construction phase. Like I said before, it doesn't matter how many times you've come, every time you come, you'll see something a little bit different and that expansion is going to be exponentially awesome. So nature on this side, and then something called wall drawing number 880, loopy doopy, orange and green. And this is something that has come from an artist that was active between 1928 and 2007. It's an acrylic painting. It is very graphic. And when you come here, you just can't miss it. Now, Sol LeWitt, who created this, did over 1,200 wall art pieces. And each one of them was a little bit different. Now, this one is quite bold. And when it's a sunny day, it definitely can leave your eyes doing a few things. In my opinion, it kind of looks like a fingerprint and it's really neat to see. I genuinely appreciate the first few galleries that we went through because of the timeline that they document, but I love modern art. It's just such a me thing. So I had to show you guys this one. But just past that, we have some Chihuly glass and at one point in time, you could come and see a traveling exhibit of Chihuly that actually wound its way through the exterior gardens and hiking trails. On the opposite side of the green and orange, we have this very interesting interpretive piece. And the closer that you get to this one, the more interesting that it becomes because you see what kinds of materials they actually used. For example, this one is wood, but it seems to have the cartoons from the comic strip on it. And the more that you look, the more that you'll realize that they've integrated these various pieces. Again, art is super subjective. So if you see this and think, okay, that's, that's nothing, just keep going. You will find something that resonates with you. And when you do, it will just latch onto you and make you smile. And that's the goal of art, is to have a commentary about something and to find something that can bring you a feeling. It's not always going to be joy. Sometimes it's going to provoke thought. Other times it's going to provoke you to question things like this. Like, even if it's just the question why, you're engaging with the art and that's the purpose. Oh wow, all of these are sketches and drawings and various creations. And then just like all the other art, it tells you how it was created, when it was created and who the artist was. Very neat. And this gallery is pretty expansive, but right over here, you can participate.
you can see along the wall, it's taking you through history. So it's bringing you into contemporary art. And along the way, it tells you the story of the galleries and what brought us to the contemporary art. And we first start off with this man right here. And it implores you to look through the lens and evaluate what you see. And then tells you a little bit more about the process of what this is exactly through this video over here. But this is incredible. Again, is each piece gonna be for every person? No, and that's okay. That's what makes art fun and relatable and awesome. And in this gallery, you're gonna find some very interesting things that are a little bit different that might not be traditional. And I really love this gallery. But in addition, there's actually something that I would like to touch on in here. This is an artist who has gone and photographed the historic Japanese-American concentration camps here in Arkansas. And this is a series of photos about that work. Art sometimes tells a story. Sometimes it tells us history. Sometimes it is a feeling or an emotion. In this particular gallery, though, it's taking us through a time that was not a super pleasant moment in American history. And it's showing us a place we can still visit to this day that looks very different than it once did. And I think that that's why art is something that we can learn from. You might not be interested in twisted glass or even interesting interpretations of wood, but you cannot deny the photographic like evidence of life. And here we'll find a lot of that as well. When you look at this, what do you think? What do you feel? What do you think it's made of? Believe it or not, this is made out of tiny buttons and glue. And it almost looks like a coral reef. When you look at a comic book, do you think art? Because it is art. When you look at a photo, do you think of art? Because it is art also. Oh, this is cool. This is so magical. This is an infinity room with all of these little orbs and spheres. It just looks like it goes on forever, but this is a very tiny room. Oh my goodness, this is so cool. Oh, this makes me smile so big. If you are interested in the story of Crystal Bridges, you can come over to the special exhibit side and they have an entire timeline of the construction and then also what's in the future. It's pretty fascinating because they tell you about why they selected this design, what kind of materials they used, and what exactly propelled them to do this in the way that they did. It's very fascinating. Now there is a huge art map right before you exit out into the art trail and you can find on this art map that there is actually a Frank Lloyd Wright building on property which is pretty cool but they have some other larger outdoor exhibits as well and we're going to go see a few of those before we head back to the front. You can certainly get a good walk around here, just soaking it in. And every so many feet, there's a sculpture, a famous sculpture just hanging out in the woods. 
How cool is that? Also, periodically along the trail, you'll see little tiny like areas where you can find a trail guide that tells you about the different sculptures you'll find along the way. These are also free. Everything here is free. Well guys, that's gonna wrap it up for us here at Crystal Bridges. I've just gone through very quickly and shown you why I enjoy this, but I encourage you all to come out and see it for yourself. The art is ever-changing. There are so many cool things and I think that you'll love it. Just take a time to say, hey, I wanna do an outdoor adventure and go on this art walk, if nothing else. It's fabulous, it's well landscaped, it's very peaceful, and it's definitely worth a shot. Remember guys, we're not here for a long time, but we are here for a good time. Beautiful places make it that much easier. Definitely take the time, come to Arkansas, check out Bentonville, really cute community. Definitely something you will enjoy. Till next time guys, bye.